There was yet another alarming incident on board an airplane as an unruly passenger threatened a woman seated next to him earlier this week. The man is facing federal charges now after he put a razor to her throat. CBS's Christina Ruffini has more. Peace out. Peace out. Departing words from the man who allegedly threatened fellow passengers with a straight edge razor on a flight from New York to Salt Lake. Were you scared? Uh, yeah, definitely. Abe Niederhauser was returning from several months in Europe when he says he saw a commotion two rows up. I've never seen a woman dart away so fast. She bolted to the front of the plane. Everyone was just like running to the front of the back of the plane. According to the complaint, the man, Meryl Daryl Fackrell, seated at the window, had several alcoholic beverages when he grabbed the woman in the middle and threatened her with a knife-like object. The woman's husband on the aisle ran for help. She was able to break away, leaving Fackrell standing in the aisle with the weapon, according to witnesses. He immediately is like yelling. He's like, he's like, this ain't no 9-11 just land the plane and everything will be fine. A passenger talked him down, disarmed him, and sat next to him for the duration of the flight, according to police. Stop, 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 stop. But the incident comes just days after a passenger wielding a box cutter forced an emergency landing on a Frontier flight from Cincinnati. Should the traveling public be worried? Absolutely not. Metal objects are certainly a concern. However, explosives remain the number one concern. Keith Jeffries, former federal security director at LAX, says TSA will certainly review their procedures, but diligent and aware passengers have become an important line of defense. Passengers will not tolerate that and they will intervene and do what they can necessary to keep the public safe. Now, TSA says disposable razors are allowed on flights, but razor blades are not. Officials say they're concerned about these incidents and they will continue to work to deploy new X-ray technology that better detects these small items. Jerika? Christina Ruffini, thank you.